the people who do, does not have any idea about cutover for them what is cutover as simple as that basically we are cutting off our legacy system so in this uh, example in this project which example which i have given we were working on microsoft dynamics from microsoft dynamics we are moving it to sap right so when jumping when business users would be jumping from microsoft dynamics to sap so that transition phase that transition phase would be very small the deploy phase can be long one to two months but the final transition phase can be of two days three days or five days where we'll say that okay microsoft system uh, microsoft dynamics is stop all the relevant open transactions we have moved it to the new system production system all the activities are completed in production system and now production system is available uh, for for usage okay in the words it looks very simple right but this is the most difficult most challenging part in any implementation in sap implementation you can go wrong in your uh, uh, you can go wrong in your uh, prepare phase you can go wrong with your little bit wrong with your design phase in testing in little bit in master data don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos when you go wrong in the project you always have a bandwidth to correct yourself right but when if you go wrong in cutover there is no bandwidth available okay you will fail the project you will even fail the businesses the activities are so critical so important even i have seen some example where business need to shut down okay there are the multiple reason that they have shut down one of the business operations in malaysia for one of the company but one of the reason was given that uh, uh, a cutover was not uh, the sap implementation did not happen properly and in that cutover is one of the reason also one of the uh, uh, warehouses i know in africa uh, in the full uh, go live was successful but, but one of the warehouse we need to stop for uh, one week because again the uh, cutover was not done properly all the transaction data which was supposed and required did not came in this in this program also the the project ex i have explained we faced challenges in the cutover the major challenges which i have faced in cutover and due to which it took us one and a half month to go 100% live and there is a there is a huge business impact on that the customer deliveries got stuck and a lot of things happened so this is top most priority activities you will see that the people who would be working on cutover plannings cutover strategies they can be even more experienced than your project managers sometime at the uh, level of senior managers directors they own that responsibility to deliver the cutover when the cutover happen a lot of key people of your businesses would be flying from us and other regions coming to your place to make sure all the support you get it and you are you, you are able to pass through the cutover so that activity is very important okay so let's go through uh, that what kind of activities is going to happen okay i will draw uh, and i will explain you that what, what are the things is going to happen so i will go back to the mind map and here uh, i'm not sure if i have a i put it here activities and then first we will discuss the uh, length of the uh, cutover okay so first we will try to understand that what is the length of the cutover right so this can be the full deploy phase and at this point we are going live okay this is the go live point go live means the final system which we have developed we will be using at this point right what do you think how long can be the cutover the final cutover i am talking about how long can be the uh, cutover how many days before please uh, try to answer that question in the chat window how many days before we would be starting our final cutover where we'll say that our uh, uh legacy system is off and we would be taking it to the new system how many days we will require for that activity these kind of questions would be asked in interview to check whether you have uh, really gone through the implementation projects in depth or not answer of the chat window uh, ram krishna says 4 to 5 days how about other people what do you think how long can be the final phase shashi said one week okay 
Lakshmi Narayan says one month, 15 days. See, the activities which will go can be uh, one month, 15 days. The final phase of the cutover, where basically what I have specifically talked, we, I have specifically talked where we would be cut off. I would be cutting off the my old system. My old system would be cut off. So that is the point I'm talking about when my old system is cut off and the new system is available, that band, that window, okay, that window, what is that window called? That window is called blackout period. Anyone, in, anyone knows why it is called blackout? That window would be calling the blackout period. When I am saying that your uh, existing uh, uh, system, the Microsoft dynamic system or any system which you are using existing, we will be stopping it. And we'll say that, okay, after two days, three days, you would be able to start the operations in the new system. So that is called the blackout period. Anyone has any idea why it is called blackout period? And then let me now specifically ask how many days of blackout period you will require in implementation? How many days of blackout period you will require in the implementation? No transaction recorded in the legacy system. Shashi said that's correct. Uh, Govardhan said that's a two days, uh, uh, two days uh, of the period. And uh, Ram Krishna said that four to five days. Okay. <clears throat> now, this period will depend a lot from business to business that how many days of stop would be there. But as per my experience, what I have seen, oh, three months, no, no, Lakshmi, not three months, three days is the average period we try to look at where we stop the business operations, where we stop the existing system, and when we will be going ahead, uh, and then we'll be going ahead with the uh, uh, new system, three days. We call it as a blackout period because in that system, there would be no ERP system would be available for your business. That's why it's called blackout. From ERP side, it will become blank. The best project which we have done, we have we have done the blackout period for five days, actually five working days plus two weekends was there. So almost it's what the seven days of blackout period. And we did it for full region. One of the full region, we have done this blackout period. And not only the ERP systems was not available, 80% of the business operations also got stopped. We completely stopped the full region business for one week. Okay, completely stopped full region business for one week. It was a big, big bang go live, one of the largest SAP's big bang go live. For full region, we have stopped the business operations. Now to, to do that kind of things, we require nine months of planning. The discussions for to, that, to do that cutover that the business will stop for a week, the discussion happened the nine months before, and we did a lot of activities to support because the customer should not be impacted. Although we are saying the business operation will stop. Okay, let me first ask, do you agree with, my, with me point that only the legacy system would not be, only the ERP system would not be available or your uh, business operation also need to be stopped? So people get confused with these two points when it comes to the blackout period. So you let me know that what do you understand or what do you agree? First point is that that ERP system would not be available. Second po point is part is that the, even the business operation also need to stop. Do you think that business operation need to stop for the blackout period? Ramakrishna said, yes, how about others? Uh, some critical operations can go on. Okay. Sheikh said it need to be stored. Govardhan does not agree. It did not need to be stopped. That is the most difficult discussions you would be having with your client. If you are a team lead or if you are a cutover lead or if you are leading the cutover, specifically in your vertical businesses also, you would be having a very tough discussion there. Business many times would not be agreeing or would not be in any mood to stop the operations. Okay. As, as per my understanding, based on my experience, I will say, so there is a two kind of things would be available here. One is try to go with the, let the business do the operations and try to go ahead with the operations. Secondly, with stopping the operations. 
if you will ask me parminder what do you suggest or what do you recommend my suggestion and uh, recommendation is strongly to stop the business i had a i had a very very bad experience and the cutovers which got failed two cutovers in my implementation which i say that all projects are successful right on the papers <laughs> on the papers all are successful but from the bottom of my heart i know that we made some mistakes and the two projects cut over i feel that it's not successful and we faced a lot of problem and both of them the reason was business was not stopped business operation was not held up because the business operation was not held up you faced a lot of problem if your business does not agree to stop the operation for longer time you need to come up with the strategy which can be the smaller blackout period maybe 2 days 3 days blackout period but in this blackout period no erp systems available no business operations happening i would not say that the critical business operations will go on when you will speak with the critical business operations every department is critical procurement ke liye procurement critical production is critical need to supply customer supply is critical so if you will talk about the critical business would say everything is critical i am not stopping everything is critical what kind of business operations can go on business operations can go on generally what happens that every year or every couple of years we stop the business operation because some kind of maintenance activities you can only do when your full business operation is stopped so we ask business okay uh, you you are stopping your production you are stopping your dispatch you are stopping your receivings any kind of maintenance operations you need to do it preventive maintenance predictive maintenance uh, which requires time try to utilize that time to do that maintenance part okay and this communication if you will say that one month before the, you are doing this communication <laughs> business will give you bang bang this this communication need to happen at least 3 months or 6 months before the cut over you need to uh, make aware the business we are talking about stopping of the business operations now it comes that for how many days we need to stop the business operations okay what should be the length of the blackout period so you understand in the blackout period my recommendation is stop the business operation although the last implementation we have done we have not stopped the business operations we have given the templates to business uh, that business would be filling all the data into the excel templates and when once we go live will fetch that information into the sap manually and that took us two months <clears throat> that took us two months to go live actually go live for one month we were all punching the previous transactions only one of the implementation in gurgaon i was there for one month of uh, support intensive care support till one month we were we were putting the data from the previous period only in the gurgaon implementation what happened we had a discussion with business business agreed okay we would be giving you a window of uh, saturday and sunday a uh, two days window we took it it was a small project we said in two days we'll be able to comp- complete the transaction data load and everything and we went live into the plant on monday and we found that saturday sunday they did not stop the operation they run the production facilities in full throttle all three shift so whatever the transaction data we have loaded whatever the stocks we have loaded is now we are matching and their log books even they have not used any excel templates they have noted down into their manual production log books now to get this uh, data from the log books into the system we were struggling for one month when i left that project and we were still not 100% live we were all punching the previous data and then uh, further i came to know that actually they need to stop the plant for two days they need to do the inventory count they need to adjust full inventory with the inventory count and a lot of things need to be done in that two days of st- uh, stopping the operations and then finally they were able to go live okay so it's very important you stop the business operations generally the most preferred approach i will try to see if my pen is working now uh, looks like it's working okay i will rub it up and i will rewrite so generally what we try to do in the whole so this is my full period okay this is my go live this blackout period
we tell the business let's do it on friday to sunday or saturday to monday we say that okay generally uh, uh, many business will be off on saturday and sunday not not the production but the a lot of departments would not be working on saturday sunday let's say the corporate departments the finance departments the invoice raising or your uh, procurement teams which works from the offices would not be working on saturday and sunday so that is anyhow off for them and the production facilities is anyhow not working on sunday and then we take one day extra so i prefer to do this cutovers in 3 days okay but you need to uh, plan it carefully 3 days no business operations would be happening the business need to stop the operations no manufacturing no purchase orders creations no financial transaction doing okay so these 3 days would be the uh, cutover period we try to fix it that we should be getting in this or in some cases if required it can go up to 5 days don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos so you need to agree with the business what need to be done there is a one approach with one company also the implementation partner they follow 3 days rather than stopping the operations they give the all the templates to business and business need to fill the data into the templates okay so i would also explain you that after go live also uh, i never like that template approach i like to stop the uh, business operations completely now whether the business would be stopping it completely yes business would stopping it if you explain them the criticality of it if you give all of the examples that what wrong can happen if they will not do the cutover properly so the cutover you need to make sure a lot of activities need to happen from the business side and you discuss with them in detail okay so now let's discuss about that what kind of activities will need to happen in the blackout period so in the blackout period uh you need to do uh, in the in the blackout period you will be following cutover matrix we prepare a cutover matrix nothing but a excel sheet where all the actions would be there that what kind of things we need to do this 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 in a sequence would be there okay